today I have two things that I brought with me to Venice last week and I wanted to show you before I wrote about them. To me it matches the aesthetic of a Leica camera. This is probably the tiniest camera bag that you could contend with and I think it works really well. It has a small slot on the inside, I'll show you a detail of it in a second, uh, for an SD card. And it feels like it would probably last for 50 years, so it was, a, uh, it was a good experience using this bag. The other thing that Photo Village gave me to test out was a 35mm Summicron. It turned out to be a really great travel lens. Good portraits and could handle the narrow alleyways in Venice, the, uh, you know, the churches and the architecture. So it really allowed me to just focus on taking pictures and not fumbling with lenses. This lens is going to favor places where wide angle photography is going to come into play more. get some, you want to get more of the scene into the picture uh, with your subject. The throw on the focus is a lot longer on the 35 than compared to the 28. When you're doing close-up portraits, you want to make sure that your f-stop is already taken care of because it's a little tricky to adjust it if you're focusing you know, within three feet of your subject. I really enjoyed how compact this lens was. If you look at it without the hood, I mean, it's a total pancake. just getting started in rangefinder photography and you're not looking to uh, spend a whole lot of money but get a really versatile lens that will keep you busy. Overall, I'd say that this this lens really uh, this lens really worked. If I had to take one lens on a trip and travel super light, this this 35 millimeter would do the trick. Thank you.